Hey everybody, Vicarious Viking here. So I leave the internet for like a day and a bunch of Isaac stuff happens. Well, not a bunch I shouldn't say, more like two. That's that's actually far less than a bunch, but two very notable things I would say. There's a new version of Spider Mod out and a new version of the Community Remix Mod. Uh, I have them both right now. I am running the latest Spider Mod and the latest Community Remix Mod. Uh, and they both had a few new things. Uh, the Community Remix Mod, it still says version 0.58 up there, but it is in fact a, a slightly newer version. There's a, there's a couple updates and stuff. I'll probably make a video going over it. Um, what this video is going to be about though is Spider Mod adds something new called uh, Survival Mode, and that's what we're going to check out right now. I'll kind of explain it as I get into it here and kind of show it off. Um, it's really neat though. Basically, it's like this endless kind of challenge mode where you're stuck in this room the whole time and enemies are just going to spawn. And, and you just have to kill them, and as you can see, they keep coming. Eventually, some random consumables will drop, and you'll eventually get, like, a random uh, pedestal items and stuff like that, so you can get more powerful as you go. And you can see right now that it's starting out pretty simple. These are, like, your first floor enemies, and they're very easy. But as this goes along, uh, more and more difficult enemies are going to appear. Um, you'll see I'll eventually start getting um, caves enemies, and then after that, I'll start getting depths enemies all the way up to probably... All the way up to like um, a bunch of like bosses that you would find on the cathedral or the chest. I'm not really sure. To be perfectly honest, this is actually my first time checking it out. I uh, watched a video of Agro Midget showing it off. He survived for about 12 minutes. It got pretty crazy. He was fighting like three Monstro 2s and I think that's what ended up doing him in. But I mean, yeah. Yeah, it was nuts. So I don't really know how long it goes on for. It might be endless. There might be an end. If there is an end, I haven't actually seen it. Um, and I maybe should not have even picked Isaac for this because... Uh, uh, because he was Judas, and I could see why he was Judas, because being Judas... Oh, we could reroll with Isaac, though. That's a thing. But yeah, Judas does start with a pretty significant damage up. Do we have to... Oh. Well, I guess if you don't take items, they disappear. So, that is good to know. Um, I'm wondering if, you, if you're quick enough. I'll try the next item, if the next pedestal item, if I don't want it. I'll try uh, picking it up, putting it down, and rerolling it, and, uh, and seeing what I can do about it. I'm, I'm sure the D6 is going to end up serving me better than the mom's bottle of pills, but it would have been nice to reroll that into maybe some kind of a cool passive. So we are starting to see some new enemies now. We get the, um, oh well, this isn't a new enemy, but I've seen a fly and those floating heads that shoot at you. And now we have some uh, decapitated bodies that are spewing blood, a couple of fat flies. So yeah, and it's just gonna go on like this. Um, I won't be able to survive forever with just base damage because it is gonna get pretty difficult. It is nice that the enemies spawn one at a time. Oh, that was very close. But it, I think it does get um, pretty tricky. I was kind of watching the aggro major one and I was like, you know, it might be kind of cool if they spawn like, oh geez, I can't even get this guy. More than one at a time. But then it got to the point where he was fighting three monstro twos and I was like, you know, maybe it's better the way that it is. Oh, so yeah, so this is just gonna be like kind of a little one off to, uh, to show this off. Uh, as it is really cool, it comes pre-installed with the latest version of spider Mod, which I believe came out today or yesterday. Things are starting to get a little crazy, I would say, and uh, I'm not sure how long I'm going to survive. I might, you know, do these kind of one-off videos of this survival mode every once in a while, but probably not all the time. I need to kill myself some of these uh, little gishes here. It's See, now it's I'm starting to feel very not that strong. Also, that Eternal Heart, um, the half Eternal Heart, they might spawn every... Um, those might spawn a little bit more frequently now. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to go ahead and grab Spoonbender. Also, notice that the um, all the blood and tear stains on the floor are like very slowly starting to dissipate. Probably because it probably takes up like a little bit of memory for all that stuff. And if you have way too much of it on screen, all the t it would probably maybe slow it down a little bit. But either way, it is kind of nice that it disappears. Wow, we have two of these very rare alternatives to the little dishes, I think, there. Okay, well, I got my Eternal Heart. But that is fine. Oh, wow, look, another one. I hardly ever see these enemies in game, so I'm not doing very good. Ah, uh, now it spawns the other half of an Eternal Heart. I'm going to try to not pick that one up and hope that uh, another one drops pretty soon. And uh, these homing tears are helping me out a little bit, but I sure would like to get another consumable. These guys just want to keep spawning. And I just noticed right now I once again have my... Okay, I'm going to pick this up because I'll be dead in one hit if I don't. Just notice right now that I have my numbers and my damage turned on. Um, I did that for my previous run because uh, some people were asking for it and I thought it would be kind of cool to check it out. And it is, but I probably should have turned it off. But oh well, it's not a big deal for this anyway. It's not a big deal really. Oh, okay, that was a, that was a bad hit. All right, we can, we can do this. We cannot die yet. We cannot die yet. We can get ourselves a consumable. And uh, pretty soon things are going to be turning around. That's not cool. <gasps> not cool at all. I, this guy needs to die. There we go. Okay. Okay, now, now this head needs to die. 
Now I'm starting to get a little stressed out here. I'm starting to really feel very not strong. <gasps> oh, it's not dead yet. It needs to die. There we go. Okay, Monstro. Big Monstro here. He needs to die. I only have one bomb. I should maybe even probably use it. I need to kill this thing because it's freaking me out. If you could just... <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is... It's very intense, actually. It's very fun. Uh, the... Uh, oh. The big thing is to try to see, you know, how long you can survive for. I honestly have no idea when I started this video. It doesn't feel like it's been that long, though. It probably honestly hasn't, but that's fine. I'm doing my best here. It's my first try. It's my first time trying the survival mode. So, try to go easy on me. I would like to, um, I would like to survive at least a little longer. Uh, Monstro here is the first boss, so if we could at least kill the first boss, then that, that wouldn't be so bad. Certainly, we got another half eternal heart, which as much as I want to save it, I really don't think I should at this point, because otherwise I would die in one hit. Uh, and now I'm dead in two hits, at the very least, which is nice. It's a nice little bit of protection, certainly. And uh, Monstro is dead in like two shots here, so good. And we took him out. Let's go kill this, whatever these things are called. And we got that. I, I can reroll it. And then we got Mini Mush. I might as well take Mini Mush, because it's not like I'm going to have another chance to reroll. Ah, oh, that hurt. These guys. Oh, Okay. So we got me, and that is going to do it, and um, I want to thank you guys for watching. You can go ahead and download this right now and check it out for yourselves. Like I said, it does come with a plugin. All you need to do is go to plugins, enable plugins, and then you have to restart Spider Mod completely, and then once you do, I think they're all active right away, and I don't know if that matters. I don't know if they, like, overlap with one another or if they all work together or what, but I went ahead. You can go into settings here, and then you can check on and off which ones you need uh the only one i really know anything about is, is this survival mode one there's a versus mode one but uh like I, I it's all kind of in its infancy but i mean definitely uh definitely check these out it's really cool and that's gonna do what i want to thank you guys for watching like the video if you liked it um you can check out my channel for all kinds of isaac content and subscribe to be notified of when i come out with new videos you guys have a great day my name is vicarious viking i will see you later